Hey yo, what's going on, Sexy Simulator Squad? Tomorrow is the big day. <laughs> Excuse me, tomorrow, starting at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, is the 24-hour stream. It's it's gonna be crazy. I might walk out of there in a sexy Santa outfit with half of my beard shaved with different color hair, and who knows? Maybe another tattoo. It could get wild. I don't know. But it's going to be fun. That's all I do know. All I do know is things are fun until they're not anymore. <laughs> and when they're, when they're not, that's when you got to start worrying. But right now, I'm, I'm having fun. My MMR is in the absolute shitter, in case you're wondering. Um, I've been completely and utterly decimated yesterday. As you can see, I'll put the MMR up for you guys to... To witness my <clears throat> my imminent downfall or my my it's not imminent it's already like it already happened my previous downfall i suppose minions have spawned one more is not popping up why still looking at my second monitor not popping up okay get, never mind I got bluestone, by the way, because I just think it's nice to be able to actually compete in clear with uh, the god gamer himself, Poseidon. Oh, I really wanted that other one to hit. Yeah, the MMR is not working. That's weird, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry the MMR is not working. I wish it were. I'm not going to use my other ability right now. Because I have a pot ticking anyways. Fine. Big vibing. Also, pretty sure you do not win this. My guy. Yeah. Okay. Bluestone is OP early game. So... There was absolutely no chance you were ever gonna you were ever gonna beat me in that fight. That being said, <clears throat> next fight you probably will beat me in because I have no mana to actually proc my blue stone. Oh, he wants to crack in the shit out of me. Good though, homie. You know, surprisingly, he didn't crack in. I don't know if it's the lack of. Uh, the lack of mana, or if maybe it's just the lack of confidence that he would actually get the kill with it. But he didn't crack in me, which I'm really surprised about. As you can tell by the fact that I said it three times. Please, use my ability. So I can actually get my kills. I mean, they're not kills. Get my, get my minion kills. All right, so late game, it's going to suck a little bit because Bluestone is not going to do enough for me. So I kind of got to put the pressure on him right now. I got to make sure he feels the power of the bee. I'm going to go this way. That didn't proc bluestone. That proc bluestone. Oh, man. When you whiff like that, it hurts. It hurts the soul, bro. It, it really does. Oh, you're so dead. You're so dead. I'm doing actual big numbies with my abilities right now. Thank you, at Bluestone. And the fact that I have red buff as well. Extremely high damage numbies. Do that. That'll clear the wave because... Again, maxing my abilities and the fact that I have bluestone. Go grab this transcendence and we are on for a good look. A good look. Let's see. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh hives out right now. So I can place one more. If you don't know, you're allowed to place seven. Don't know where he is. Probably hiding in a corner to try to crack at me. It wasn't, surprisingly. Oh, uh, 
Excuse me. I pressed my beads button. I'm a little bit disappointed that you didn't listen. You are deceased as shit if you walk over here. Though. You're not going. That's fine. My three is maxed, so my three plus a couple autos on the big boy should clear. No big deal. My uh, my chalice is keeping me big healthy. Oh, you're doing your blue, huh? I'll do some tower damage. I'm cool with this. Look at that amount of damage I'm doing to him, dude. Look at that damage. Two autos and a three. Holy. I, I really would love to do this. I hate that he got that. Oh, that's a big slow. I'm going to go in for that. Oh, dead maybe? Dead maybe? No. Damn. That's unlucky. Well, I mean, it's not really unlucky. Because I wasn't even close. It's not like... Luck was involved. It was just... Unfortunate that I didn't get the kill there. He will have his, uh... <clears throat> he will have his Kraken up again. I think I'm just going to go Bulwark. Just to avoid getting completely smashed. I, I currently have seven hives out. So if he breaks one. That'll be that. I'm assuming you're not going to go straight to Bull Demon right now. Hello. Do a little bit of tick damage on him. By a little bit, I mean, holy shit, actually a lot. That'll hit hard. Never mind. Unless it doesn't hit at all. Um. I mean, dude. I'm doing a lot of damage. It's just the matter of, like... Like, look at that, dude. That did well over 100 damage. My 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 bees are just wreaking havoc on this young man. More big damage, more big damage. Perfect. Did crack in me, but I should be able to take tower still. Nice. I'm able to take tower and clear the wave and go get my bulwark. And yes, another and I'm going to go beat stick here. The reason I'm going to go beat stick is because um, actually I'm going to go thorns here as well. The reason I'm going to go beat stick is because I don't want to rely on my auto attacks <clears throat> very much this game because I already have bluestone transcendence. And that combination obviously is for ability-based characters. So I'm trying to make my abilities hit really hard and just keep that going. And might as well, if my abilities are already my main strong suit, might as well make it... I actually stole blue with that, holy shit. Might as well make it where uh, <clears throat> my abilities already being my strong suit are also... Oh, that should have hit. That's. Um, I wonder if I can kill here. Uh, nope. My relics are not working. My like when I press the relic button, it's not working. Because I tried to thorns. In case you're wondering why I said that, I tried to use my thorns there, and it didn't go off. Oh, I, I, I backstepped it. 
I backstepped it. I could have definitely gotten him killed there had I not backstepped it. I don't know why. I don't know why I did that. Because that definitely would have killed. 100% would have killed him. Oh, well. You know what I could go is Jotun's, actually. Instead of, um... Instead of a beat stick, I could actually just throw up the extra 20% cooldown to help me with all my damage, all my damage needs. Okay. This is my territory. I think I might actually just go Yotans. I like that play. That should kill. Oh, how much HP? 23? Alright. <clears throat> oh, I could go Crusher too. Honestly. Oops, I don't actually. I might just go like full power or AMC. This Crusher, Jotuns, and Beat Stick all sound so good for me. I really might just go them all. How dare you? Dude, that was two auto attacks, by the way. That was only two auto attacks? Don't scare me. Paused. All right, all right. I'm feeling pretty good right now, man. It's a good game. You know, I if the MMR actually worked, which I wish it did, um, it would say, I believe he's like 33 or 3400 MMR. At least he was yesterday. I mean, obviously you can lose multiple hundred MMR very quickly, as is... The, how I did it yesterday. <laughs> we do over 100 damage per auto to this Phoenix. That's not... That is pretty good for me. The fact that, uh... Kraken is down... I'm still relatively healthy. All that damage. Uh, you definitely die here, right? Don't die. You are so close, my friend. Oh. I stood in it because I was really hoping it would kill. I was really hoping it would kill him. Unfortunate. <laughs> unlucky, unlucky. Alright, what's this back here? I do want to go beat stick like I said. I think Beat Stick is definitely the play over Crusher, because especially him going double lifesteal like this. It's a big no-no, man. That's a big no-no. I could also just do Bull Demon, but the thing is, Kraken is quite the secure. So, hello, enemy boy. Alright. That is why you go beads against Poseidon instead of Aegis. Because you can keep damaging through the Kraken, which none of the Poseidon players expect. Every Poseidon player, including myself, expects a good Kraken to be met with a good kill. That's it. No counterplay. <laughs> no nothing. They either Aegis or they die. But beads actually allows you to get pretty good counterplay. I'm assuming he doesn't give a shit about Bull Demon right now. Why would he? I'm just doing it for the XP. Mm. Pressure would give good attack speed. <clears throat> I am going to go Beat Stick. I think Crusher would feel better, but... 
Heat Stick feels really good in terms of the fact that he has double lifesteal right now. And I mean, shutting down double lifesteal. Like, come on. Doesn't get, doesn't get any better than that. Hello, enemy boy. Uh, hello? Met by another big slow. Met by another slow. All right. I don't think he actually scares me. But that being said, it's very easy to mess up and die when there's a Kraken on the table. Especially when you don't have beads or Aegis or anything like that. I'm just stockpiling hives right now. Right here. In case you're wondering. Oh, that is suck. That sucks. Oh, don't crack it. Oh, nice. Thank goodness I'm fast enough to get out of that. Okay, he's got a clear the wave here. I do not think he wins this fight. I do have a minion still. Eh. I don't think I win the fight. Hello. Yeah. Alright. I will take my L. I will take my L. I will back all the fuck out of here red buff and run me alone oh shit if I hit that alt if I hit that alt dies he really wants his phoenix back up which I mean obviously no oh do you actually die here I think you die here <laughs> too greedy man too greedy too greedy not only was the greed there but the bold even proc just in case just in case i don't think i actually used much of the bold demon or the sorry the the bulwark proc i don't think i actually used much of it but it was there all right GG, a good game one, a very good game one. Like I said, I'm pretty sure that guy has 34 or 30, uh, 300 MMR. I'm pretty sure he's not MMR capped, but I'm, I think it was close. So yeah, I'll definitely get plus 100 here. My MMR is pretty bad. I think I'm like 2,500 right now. I was, I was 2,700, but I mean, same shit, right? Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this game. I'll see you guys in the next game. Hey, what's going on, boys? Game number two. I'm playing Medusa. Feeling like a very hunter day today. It's also early. <laughs> China is coming. Look, man. I'm not one to get political, but China will rule the world at some point soon. So don't say shit that scares me, okay? <laughs> How dare you? How dare you say things that potentially could be true that are scary to me? All right. What's your MMR? China is coming. Oh, my MMR thing doesn't work. Maybe it was only last game it didn't work. I have it on. Ah, oh, shit's bugged. No MMR in today's Try Hard Thursday, but I will show you guys the, uh, the MMR I gain or lose per game. Okay with this. I'll pop my med too. Oh, that actually hit me though. He already jumped, so I'm bing chilling. 
All right, good damage. And the fact that I got red buffed is very nice. Um, I don't want to die to any kind of like jump kick, obviously. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> I dashed away during his kick and it lunged him forward into tower. Oh, that is so unfortunate, dude. That is so unlucky for him. The the lunge forward under tower is so shitty feeling. Like when you're the Gilgamesh in that scenario, it's there's not a worse feeling, I swear to you. There's not a worse feeling. <laughs> that sucks, dude. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna buy a chalice and a and a mana pot. Get back out there, man. Back into the real world. He's almost level five. Just kidding. He is level five. Which means he's going to be picking up his passive, which lucky for him was right next to him, actually. I was hoping he would take him on a detour between my Phoenix and Tower. That would have been nice for me, but okay. No worries, no worries. You got tier one crit with it. Now, if I know anything, it's that you have to build crit chance now. It's kind of the law. If you don't, know that you're breaking the law. Also, I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to be maxing my two. I know a lot of people who play Medusa do not max their two right now. They max their one instead. Oh. Here, jump down. Oh, that didn't hit. Well, that's unlucky. I want you to know that if you go for this wave, I will murder you. I will. I will kill you. Oh, the meditation. All right. You know what? That's fine. If you use your alt and your relic in order to get the wave, that's acceptable. Anything less, you die. No alt, you die. No med, you die. Both together, live. Granted, it was a little bit scary for you, but you lived. Now, I do think I still win this fight. So I'm still going to be aggressive here. He wants to kick a minion into me. Fortunately, I'm way too cool for that. So instead, how about I just shred half of your HP? Doofus. Um, I still have my meditation, by the way. Um, I'm actually down. Oh, I didn't get the last auto. It doesn't matter, though. Because I can spit through the tower. Spitting through the tower. Something I've always been uh, <clears throat> pretty good at. Pretty good at spitting. Not the best at swallowing. I choke sometimes, but spitting I'm, I'm great at. Now, how alpha chad am I going to be right now? Oh, God. Not that alpha chad? I was going to be alpha chad, but that... Uh, he finished his transcendence? And I'm not going to lie. It was a little bit spooky. I really would love if I could have my blue. Oh, good. He's not doing it. Never mind. We're chilling. We're chilling. You're going to jump the wall and do my blue? You're going to go to yours? All right. I definitely cannot make it there in time. So that's fine. Do your blue. I'll do mine. We'll reconvene in the middle of the lane and fight to the death like gentlemen. They may run, but they will never hide from me. Hello. I said we'll reconvene in the middle of the lane and fight to death like gentlemen. You're under your tower. You're not in the middle of the lane. Kind of fucked up, homie. I do a lot of damage. I just want that to be known. I frag. I'll ult you. I'm not. A, I'm not ahead or above ulting. Okay. Oh no, the minions, dude! The minions. 
He popped his med, so I I hit him with the dash anti heal. By the way, Medusa's getting a buff. Um, where the anti heal, the 50% anti heal, on her dash is actually being transferred to her too. So you don't have to use your dash aggressively anymore. I mean, you still can obviously because it still does a pretty good amount of damage and it's an auto attack can't uh, auto attack reset. I mean, so um, you still can use your dash aggressively. The uh, the healing reduction is getting transferred to the two. So instead of being super hyper aggressive all the fucking time and needing to dash on someone in order to make sure you win the fight, you have that option of not needing to. That was a lot of damage for me. It was a lot of burst. I mean, Medusa's the queen of burst, right? She does so much. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, man. They killed them at the same time. Yeah, I'll just go breastplate. I'm sure he's going to go breastplate as well. <laughs> Excuse me. I turned away. I hope you didn't hear my cough. You did. I'm sorry. Um, But you have breastplate here. Let's see. Maybe. Are you at red? All right, well, I missed almost all my auto attacks, but it's okay. It's okay. I still won the trade, and I got the red buff, so I can't be too upset. I guess it's just time to go do Bull Demon. I don't see him wanting to, wanting to defend. And if he does defend, I mean... More power to him, but I feel like... He can't out-secure my ult. He won't even make it here in time, will he? That one does so much. Oh my damage. I'm gonna ult this wave. The reason I'm ulting the wave is for for pressure so I can make sure that I can start hitting this immediately. I don't have to wait the extra five or six seconds that was on the cooldown for my two. All right. Okay, that was weird. All right, I never left the, the Phoenix line, so... Oh, uh, now I did. It's all right. I got minions coming back in, so we're chilling. We're chilling. Good stuff. And Phoenix down. Oh, that's not good. Oh, we missed the kick, bro. Let's go. Let's actually go. I can't believe he missed the kick. That's so lucky for me. My next item is probably going to be an Aussie. He doesn't have much healing. Uh, he just has the meditation, and I have fifty percent anti heal on my my dash as is, so I don't really need to worry about the meditation healing. So I can always just dash it. Um. So I kind of just want an Aussie. Aw shouldn't have picked that up. That was dumb. But I kind of just want an Aussie to uh, have some sort of sustain. It could just go like the way. He lost a lot of HP doing that. Your torment has only just begun. All right. Uh, how much is all? It's like twenty-five fifty, right? Yeah. You can get a full Aussie here. It will. I'll also go beads. The reason I'm gonna go beads is just because avoiding his uh. His kick with my with my dash feels pretty bad. Surprisingly, he's not going for red buff. I'm not either though, because I want to actually pick it up. And um, so I'm just gonna wait for my blue to run out before I go over the red.
He should honestly have no shot at winning these fights right now. I'm still in a really good spot right now. Oh, he's in a really bad spot right now. He's got to deal with these minions. While I'm hitting... Oh. I mean, I'm pretty sure you don't win this. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. I wanted to get the kill just because. But nice. Nice. Let's check out the MMR. See, if I get plus 15, then he was like 2,400 or below. So we'll see. We'll see if he had some MMR for me or not. He did have a GM Conquest border. No, but not very good at duel, I guess. Um, That's game two. I uh, will see you guys in game number three. I love you. See you there. Yo, what's going on, boys? I'm playing Bologna this time. Still fighting Gilgamesh. I assume it's the same guy. China is coming. Yeah, he does. Well, yeah, he does have a GM conquest border, but less than twenty four hundred MMR in duel. I really wish that my um my thing was working so I could actually see what MMR he is. Like, I what what is it called? I wish my um dude I. <laughs> I looked over to my OBS to see what it's called. Look, let me let me, let me just show you. Let me let me show you the mess that is me. I looked over to my OBS to see what it's called. And in my OBS, this is hello. This is you guys. It literally says Smite MMR thing. That's what it says. I'm I'm a clown. I'm a clown that doesn't label things and now I pay the price. I actually don't know what it's called. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. <laughs> but if my smite thing, my smite MMR thing was working, we could actually tell what his MMR is. I could probably just ask him, if I'm honest. But that's okay. Sorry, I was itching my arm. Boom, pow, pow. You're scared. You're scared of me. I'm cool and hot and sexy and, and hot and sexy and shit. Cool. Also, am I doing this? Ow. I'll take half my health for uh, the red buff. Yeah, you actually can't do that though. You gotta get the heck out of here, homie. A little bit too aggressive. A little bit too aggressive for my blood. Maybe could have gotten away with it if you uh, if you didn't jump on me there. Like if you still had your jump and maybe you were just trying to hit the wave. Maybe it would have worked because you could have just jumped away or you, you know, med would have actually been able to save you or something. But a tad bit too aggressive. Slightly too aggressive. Not a... Not... A terrible thing, but it's unfortunate when it happens. My phone just vibrated. Um. It doesn't scare me at all. Like, actually at all. Right now. I keep this? Nice. I wanted to keep my three out so I could actually heal with it. By the way, I'm not leveling my two because it doesn't actually do anything extra for me. Um, really, the only the main thing my two does is give me AOE auto attacks. Um, I don't actually need the smash down damage to be any higher. I don't really care about it. What I do care about is a longer auto attack silence and a bigger heal every third auto. 
I'm going to be getting that for my three. So that's why I'm maxing my three instead of my two. In case anyone is wondering. Also, you don't really need to max your one. So, uh, I mean, really, you only use your one to reflect auto attacks. Just that's how it works. So um, you max your three and then your two. You play Bologna. At least I do. And I know a lot of other people that do as well. Do it this way. Probably just going to jump away. Yeah, expected, expected. There's not really anything I can do here. I got a chalice. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of farming for Berserker Shield. Picked up his level 5 item and got a tier 1 magical defense. Rude. Alright. I kind of like it when he's super aggressive like that because there's like no way it ever works out for him. Um, and I get to know, like, basically what his fighting style is. Now, clearly, I fought this guy last game, right? You saw it, so. I fought this guy last game. Um, unless I accidentally cut it out, which might be, you know, I, I'll be honest, it's happened before, so. <laughs> um, I've accidentally cut out entire games that were actually good games. And I wasn't able to retrieve them. It, dude. Look. I wake up. I record video games. It's not like I have a hard life. <laughs> it's not like I have a hard life. But, but. Whenever I cut out a game. That I'm excited to show you guys. It hurts. It hurts deep down inside. I'm like oh dude. I'll never get a game like that again. <laughs> Fuck. It feels pretty bad, but it's okay because you know what? I'm an endless content machine and I can always produce more. Assuming I have hands, which, <laughs> you know, <laughs> not really certain, but let's just go ahead. Dude, should I insure my hands like a doctor? You know how doctors have like $10 million insurance on their hands. What are the what are the qualifications you need in order to ensure a certain body part? And can I do it? Dude, can porn stars ensure their genitals? Whoa, hold on. <laughs> Wait a second. Can they because I know doctors or surgeons in general, um, they actually do ensure their hands. To make sure that, you know, they break their hands, they still get paid because they can't surgery with broken hands. But, all right, kind of rude, I'll be honest. But, um, does it work for other body parts? Like, could like a BMXer ensure their legs or like, uh, I don't know. Like a college professor ensure their brain. I mean, to be honest, if something happens to your brain, you're fucking dead anyways. Never mind. That that's dumb. But like hands and legs and arms and penises. Can you ensure all those things? That's sick, dude. Why have I never thought about that before? I'm gonna ensure my penis. If anyone asks, I'm gonna tell them I'm a porn star. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like this? You don't win the fight. Ooh. Well, I'm garbage. Thankfully. No! I thought my one would kill. Oh, how much HP does he have? No! <laughs> He's gotta have so little HP. Oh my god. Actually won, man. Actually won. Damn. 
I saw him running up to the blue buff, so I knew he was going to go here. Like, like, jump over the wall. Damn, dude. You got red buff too, right? Yeah, he did. <laughs> that was funny though. I can't, I gotta admit. Ow. We got a mid guard? That's boring. You never know who's watching. That's boring. But you know what? Hello. How'd you get it? Get back here, butthole pirate. Mm. You know what? I might just go frostbound. I think I might just go frostbound. I could go midguard as well, but like. Eh. Um, even though he got bold boss, I'm still ahead. He's going toxic blade right now, which yeah, I don't necessarily mess with. I'm just going to go kins at the moment. Going thorns. Uh, thorns is good. Thorns is good. I was thinking more shell. But I could go thorns. The problem is I can't pop thorns while I'm CC'd. And he's only going to fight me if he lands a stun. That's that's pretty much the only problem with going thorns against Gilgamesh. It's because Gilga only fights when stun's landed. And if he lands the stun. And I would have ha had to already pop... Uh, thorns, and if I pop thorns before he lands the stun, obviously he's not gonna fight me. You know, <laughs> like hey, but I altered up there. Um, yeah, I'm just going to use my three here. Just get some HP back. I do want to go Kins, by the way. Because he, he is going Toxic Blade and he's going Midguard. Or I, he already went Midguard. So I do like the fact that Kins is going to do a lot for me here. I'm just going to kind of rush it, I think. I can relic. I still don't know what I want. I, I, definitely not thorns. That minion went flying. Definitely not thorns. I think thorns is dumb. Never let your guard... Um, not dumb, I guess, but it's not ideal. Shell. Eh, more survivability is not terrible. Could go Sunder. I could honestly just go horrific. But I don't know, like horrific. Eh. eh. Going witch blade. Even more HP for me to shred. Ooh, 1,220 HP. Do you want to fight me? Why do you like this? You literally never win these fights. You quite literally will never win these fights. Okay. I go XE. I think I'm just gonna go. I just go Sunder, I guess. I don't know, man. I don't know. 2300 HP compared to my 1800. He's got an extra 500 HP built. 550. Kins is going to do a lot for me here. For sure. 
For sure, Kins will frag. Yeah, I mean, four Kins autos, 150 damage. Yes, please. I think I'm just going to go do Bull Demon. Gonna use my three and do Bull Demon. You coming over here? All right, there it is, boys. There it is. The hammer actually did 325 damage. Granted, maybe because I sundered him. It might be because I did sunder the crap out of him. But we'll never know. Can I get Phoenix here, actually? I have one more Archer minion now hitting me. I can. For only 300 damage. I have Bull Demon, so the regen's good. Going more defense. There's no way, dude. That's not the play. More defense is not going to save you. I'm already doing more damage than you. I think I'll just go... Uh, I don't know, really. Wait, look at this. My man does nothing to me. I think his best play... I mean, it was a, it was a good game up until now. Because I think him selling damage to go more defense is, is really bad. It's really bad. I'm going to go serrated edge here. This is 20% pen. And, um... I mean, just straight up, 20% pen's nice. And the 7% movement speed is not overlooked. I have 234 power. And I have my HF all stacked. I heal off the Titan, right? Oh, that's crazy that he lived. It's actually crazy he lived through that. I did 430 damage to myself with thorns. I'm almost positive you don't win this fight. I kind of just want to go get my mannequin mace. Yeah, I mean, you have 2600 HP, man. There's no way. Why am I only healing 27? I should be healing 45. Phoenix comes up soon. One more minion wave and I get my mannequin mace. I guess I'll just stay. I just hold it. Hold past. Yeah. Alright. It's actually fine by me, though. Regan, like, dying for Phoenix is okay. I don't have a problem with doing that. The only thing is, I probably could have killed if I used my one or my, or my uh, three again. 
Uh, eight auto attacks. I don't know. My one didn't really do that much, I guess. Or, uh, I'm sorry. His autos didn't do that much, so... Because his autos didn't do that much, I don't think my one would have done much. I think more than likely now, I just go another defensive item. I'm at 143 is at 190. I could just go mid guard now myself. There's nothing he can do against it. He doesn't have any attack speed, so buying a Kins on its own won't really work. It looks like he's going beat stick right now. Again, I just don't think will work. My damage is freaking phenomenal. Okay, that was weird. All right, there we go. Another win, dude. Another win. Dude, Kins. The Sunder, the Kins, and the Mannequin Maze, which is basically just passive shit. Did an extra, like, what is that? That's 1,250 plus another 200. Did a four I did 1,400 damage just passively on him. That's insane. GG. Uh, that was game number three, I think. Three pretty good games in a row, actually. Maybe that was four. I'm not sure. But... I'll see you guys in the next game. What's up, boys? I'm back at it. Back at it. Back at it. Back at it. What? Back at it. Back at it. What? Back at it. I'm back at it. Back at it. Oh, fighting a Heimdall. All right. On her versus Heimdall. That's a matchup. That's an insane matchup. I don't know what, um, I don't know what, dude, what is it called? Holy crap. I can't think right now, man. I, oh, I was going to say, I don't know what game this is. I don't know what number game this is, but I have been recording for an hour and 20 minutes. Granted, it go poop, so... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. This should be this should be the game though. The last one. You certainly do not win these. Got really decimated. So more than likely he's going to TP back in so he doesn't lose red. Uh, he's not actually, he's just giving up red buff. That is new. Oh. I feel like he probably didn't want to teleport there. I feel like he probably wanted to see if he could win that fight. I actually think he could have. So a little bit odd that he teleported. Your middle tower is under attack. All right. There we go. The reason I focused the wave instead of going for blue there is because I knew the wave would give me level 5 because it was such a big wave. And I figured even if I lose blue, which ended up did, it did happen. I lost blue, which kind of sucks. But even if I lost blue, I could at the very least get the kill in return. So lucky me, man. Lucky me. He's level 5. So he probably wants to fight. Uh, I don't think you want to fight. Yeah, I was pretty sure, certain you did not want to fight that. 
I was a little bit surprised when he turned back around to fight. Holy shit. I have such low HP. He TP'd in. Oh, the two. The two. I thought I could get... I thought I could, uh... Get the back off, because I didn't think the one would be able to land fast enough. But the two stopped my back. I forgot that you could use your two while channeling your one. Unfortunate. Also, okay, but still doesn't feel very great. The knock-up immunity or the knock-back immunity of the, uh, of the two really sucks. I would love it if he did not get this from... Well, that's awkward. Um. Oh, so close, man. Actually, so close to getting that kill. That sucks. That sucks. His TP is still down, which is really surprising to me. Been down for a long time. Edgy, just my style. Just gonna go breastplate. I don't want to risk it. Yeah, he's going breastplate as well. I don't want to risk it. This will be a uh, this will be a close game. I'm Dahl does so much damage. It always catches you off guard with how much damage this boy does. fight me oh okay I'm gonna TP away fine by me I guess you know he's going around trying to maneuver so much but it's just not working for him ow I'm actually surprised he used his med there. I don't think he needed to. I think the cool... Is the cooldown on his two faster than the cooldown on my jump? Because it seems like it is. He always has it up when I'm trying to jump. Every time. Which feels really shitty. Okay. Well, I'm dead. Alright, maybe not. I guess we got his ult for free then. Technically. It was a little bit scary in the moment. But it did end up being free.
Spawn. A monument to my strength. All right. Blue buff success. Definitely wants to ult the shit out of me. Ow. Oh, he went that way, man. Damn, he actually takes no damage. With just press plate, he can run through my tower like that? That's actually kind of weird. I was not expecting him to be able to just run through my tower like that. Like, I, I thought he ran this way and got the kill, right? But I didn't think that he would be able to run back through my phoenix to get to the wave. That was weird. One minion away from an extra 10% cooldown, which will be very nice. He's building Witchblade. Seems like everybody and their mother is building right now. I mean, alt is down. EP is down. It doesn't feel very good, to be completely honest. Because I feel like his Witchblade is finished now. It means there's no way I fight him. It is completely finished now. Dude, 163 already. And probably still doing more damage than me. But he's definitely not doing more damage than me. In fact, it seems like he's getting kind of shit on. Okay. Talk about an insane fight. That shit was crazy. I used both my relics and my alt, but I actually got the kill. Which secured the red buff for me. And also secured the blue buff for me. And also secured the XP camp for me. And also secured the other blue buff for me. So I just got every single thing in the game. And he missed an entire wave. So, you know what? Getting all the XP in the game and him missing an entire wave. Insanely worth it. Insanely worth it. I went, uh, I went XE, by the way, because he built Witchblade, which gives him a lot more HP. So. Uh, not enough for the kill, but very, very close. He wants to ult me. I got 
<laughs> Look, dude, if you're gonna TP in with your two and your alt, at least don't make it that predictable. Like, you can do it. Don't get me wrong. I don't think it's a bad idea. But, like, at least don't make it super easy to read. When you place your portal right in front of me, it's very clear to me that you want to TP in with your two activated. So I'm slowed. And then you want to alt me. So maybe... Maybe, maybe, maybe next time, just don't advertise it as much. Why are you here? You, in no fucking world do you kill me. In literally no world. You're just losing an entire wave. That's all that's happening. All that's happening is you're losing this fight. Okay. He was hiding by the bull demon. I guess because he thought he could kill me. But when you go... Like, I understand the crusher, right? A lot of people are starting crusher on hunters right now. I understand it. But when you go crusher into breastplate witchblade, you, where's the damage? Like, ambushing me is not going to do anything unless you have the damage to back it up, and you have none. And that, I mean, that should be very telling because you're Heimdall too, which is arguably the biggest damage-dealing hunter in the game. You do more damage than anyone else. Does have XE now. Mm, if I jump on him, he's just going to ult me. So how about I don't jump on you? I mean, that's fine. A monument to my strength. I don't know where he went. But I guess I don't care that much. Gonna get my Aussie. Actually, I'm just gonna farm. Maybe do Bull Demon. And then I'll be able to get my uh my Aussie and my mannequin scepter all at the same time. Which is gonna be insane. Like an incredible power spike coming up. Ouch. Aussie and Mannequin's Mace in the same back. You have quite literally no chance. In fact, I could go Xy instead of Aussie, and it might even be better. But I like the security that Aussie gives me. I'll admit, I'm kind of a bitch. I'm a bitch. But the security Aussie gives me feels nice. I also have beads up, so I'm down for a fight. All right, hitting, hitting autos is definitely not something I do. That was a very fast teleport. <laughs> All right, no big deal. Aussie gonna help me out for a second here. 
I have beads and I assume he knows that, which is why he's not halting me, is what I was going to say. But as soon as I said that, he ulted me. So odd, but whatever. Another good game, though. I mean, like none of the games were complete blowouts. I am saying that right now, being six and two with my tower still alive after killing his Titan. But the fights were really close pretty much the whole game. So it was, a, it was a good try hard Thursday. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to come by tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern. Or if, you know, I don't know when you're going to watch this video, but Friday, December 10th at 6 p.m. Eastern is when my um, 24 hour stream is starting. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Hope to see you guys there. I love you guys as always. And until next time, guys, peace.